Hey, welcome to another Fibrific live craft and chat. Running a smidgy dash late this morning. It's been one of those days. We've got construction happening across the road. We've got all sorts of things going on. And uh, I just, the fun, like, okay, this is, this is what really happened is I was inside making my tea, thinking, why is my tea taking so long to make? I didn't realize I hadn't actually put the tea in the water. Um, I know it's pretty important and it's really hard to make tea when the tea and the water are sitting next to each other they're not you know anyway don't recommend um so so that's why i'm running a dash late that and i was like you know so i was already running like a couple of minutes late and then i've come in to get everything like boom and youtube's like sorry we need to verify who you are and i'm like wait what now so i had to go through and do all of that so that is that is that yay excitement all the things if you are watching this on the replay please remember that i do come back in and check the comments and reply so if you've got any questions if you want to just join in the conversation i do come back so you're not going to miss out so you know the replay is still fun good morning to everybody in the chat i'm just going to have a quick look through the chat and see everybody who is live there's so many of you here so that is awesome thank you so much i think the first comment that i saw is from gabby so good morning gabby um let me have a squizzy squiz there's lots of chat lots of chat um freaky has shared the stream to facebook thank you that's one thing i didn't get done this morning i did not get the sheets the stream shared out so i may actually just i'm just bear with me while i quickly do that um i'm so if somebody can throw it into the fiberific fun zone that would be amazing um i'm just there we go that's done so um welcome 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 it's a crazy week here okay so like let me know if you can hear the massive if i didn't know it was happening on someone's roof i would say jackhammering but it's on someone's roof so it's not likely jackhammering um so yeah uh if you can hear that let me know i'm not sure if there is actually all that much i could do about it but i oops hello bring the microphone into the shot i could i could certainly try um you just hear me i oh, thank you freaky i appreciate that i definitely appreciate that good morning to jen good morning to leanne um everybody but you do hear me excellent so that is good um that's a relief good job microphone thanks very much for doing your job um jackie says i can hear something faint in the background but it's not a big issue and welcome to the chat liz b we are just getting started okay so the title of this video is getting ready for the big wool show right let me know in the chat do you know what the big wool show is um i should probably do it as a poll like i might do it as a poll so just hang on don't, don't type anything. Um, do you know? Yes or no? Ask the community. All right, there's a poll. Give it a little second. It will come back in. Okay. I, I, I need my tea now. I, I haven't even had a chance to test it, so it could be terrible. Mm. Wonderful. Okay. Freaky says, not a clue, but I've been watching the videos leading up to it. <laughs> okay, so while you guys are popping that into the chat, there seems to be a lot of you that know what it is. Um, Jackie has popped in a link for the Big Wall Show's website. Uh, that is awesome. There is also another link that may not be there. Um, so, and I don't have it in this in in the sheet either. So it is the Big Wall Show's YouTube channel, which they've just gotten themselves a custom url so it's not a long string of numbers anymore so it's uh youtube.com slash the big wool show and what's going to be happening this weekend is this amazing virtual event so it's this is its second year running last year we flew by the seat of our pants this year we're not quite flying by the seat of our pants but mostly still are um <laughs> And uh, what it is, is it's a whole pile of Australian creators who, who um, have, well, actually, it's one person, Danielle, um, Danielle Larson. She, just, she, she is the brains of this event. And what she decided was last year when Bendigo Sheep and Wool Show couldn't run, she put together 
the Big Wool Show website and created a way for people to be found, like sort of like a virtual marketplace. And what happens is you go through all the different pages and you can watch videos and you can watch workshops and displays and all sorts of things. But then you can also click through and go to their website to make any purchases that you want, a beautiful hand-dyed yarns, just amazing things, just amazing things. Um, Sally, there's actually a, a um, I'll just I'll just grab it, hang on a big knot string um youtube.com slash the big wall show let me just see if that works i'll see yes it does there you go that's that's if you can add that to the to the sheet that would be great thank you i'll just close that so it doesn't destroy our stream today try not to touch too many things um so why I'm so excited about the Big Wool Show is not even just so much um, that I, uh, you know, it's not even so much that I um, I get to have a stall. Sorry, my brain just paused. That's, that's what happens with my head sometimes. Sometimes it just pauses. Um, and, it's yeah, it's not even so much that Fiberific has a, a stall page or will do once I've, this afternoon, once I've finished yeah, right. Um, <laughs> but I'm also um, the host of their their live stream. So it'll be running on their YouTube channel and we're going to be having guests like different dyers and, and creators popping in and out all day. So uh, it'll be running Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. Um, Australian Eastern Time. So whatever time now is, but on our Saturday. So it's 10 a.m. Thursday for me. Um, so... Each of the stall holders has gone in and made a little video about themselves, so you get to find out a little bit about them. You get to find out what they make. You get to see all the things. And then if they've opted in, they can jump in and be on the live streams. Now, one of the exciting things about the live streams this year is that it will also include some giveaways. So do you guys remember a few weeks ago when I tested a giveaway tool here? Well, it was so that we could see if we could run it for the Big Wool Show, and we can. So there will be some giveaways during the day of the live stream as well. So um, if you want to jump over there and click set reminders for the Big Wool Show live streams, I've, I have, they've, they've still got like just the, the blank um, thumbnail. I, only got, I got sent through the graphics last night and I've still got to add it. But I'm so excited. It's going to be insane. The, the live streams run for six hours. Now, you guys don't have to be there for all six hours, honestly. And at some stage, there'll be some sort of schedules posted so you can see who's coming when. So if you've got a favorite creator, you want to make sure you're there or go and check on their socials because some of them are posting the times that they're going to be on. So I'm very, very, very excited about all of this. Oh, sorry, Jackie. I, I saw yours after I posted mine. Um, Freaky Geek said, I finally got to see the bling that Gamer Widows makes. Absolutely. She's also a big wool show stall holder. Uh, Freaky says, I hope that I can join some of the live streaming, um, but sadly I can't put participate too much meaning spending money and that is a-okay just come and join in the fun you may even score something um in a giveaway i know that um i'm not sure if all of them but a lot of them are including international postage um so sally's husband is going in for surgery so i hope that's all going good today sally um so all right okay stream's over that's it i told you what i need to tell you that's not me. That's not what I do here. Okay, so more tea, more tea. Mm. Okay, so I've just realised that when I bring up people's comments, it's being covered by my channel's watermark, which is annoying. Let me just see. Um, so the short ones, it doesn't, just the long ones. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. I did change something. Let me see. Uh, brand. Let's see if, if I change it back. If it does it, um, I think that would be fine because what's minimal do? We might do that. We might leave it at minimal. Okay. Back to the comments. Yeah. So you know, I change things up for not realizing the differences it'll make. Honestly. Good job, Shanta. Actually, do you know what? I don't like minimal. Minimal looks lame. Minimal looks minimal. What does block do? We'll try that one. Well, that one looks cool-ish. All right. 
back to back to what's going on. I'm missing comments. I'm missing comments. Um, oh, Bob Curran says not as much knitting today as I had my first COVID shot yesterday. I'm having mine tomorrow. Exciting. Exciting. My husband had his second shot the day before yesterday and he had a headache yesterday. So that was funny. Um, we can cope with a little overlap. Thanks, Jackie. I appreciate that. Um, oh, speaking of tea, we still have for a little while longer, just a little while longer, our amazing special from Tea for Talia. I'm still drinking mint sliced tea because mint sliced tea is, oh, my God. I mean, what can I say? Um, so if you want to get your hands on it and you're in Australia, you can still get $2 off per bag. And I think that runs for another, I'll have to check, but for another week or two. Mm. I've got my tea too far away. Let's see if I can bring it a bit closer. All right. Okay. Now, do you guys remember last week when I was, um, I'll just remove that, when I was drooling, over, for want of a better word, drooling over some yarn in the uh, Knit Picks box that arrived? Well, I made the cow. There we go. And it's so much squish. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I've got to double check some things because I think I may have stuffed it up or I read the instructions wrong or something, but I don't like the join. Or at least I don't like the join in the colours that I did. Now, if you were doing the colours they recommended and the yarn they recommended, it might be a bit different. But for me, I'm not the biggest fan. Now, I do love how it looks. I'm going to give you a top-down shot here um, if I can. Hello, double brill. There we go. Oops, keyboard's in the shot. Let's let's just look. Okay, everything's in the shot. I moved some things after I set some stuff up. There we go. All right, so that colour looks dreadful. I really should have checked that. Um, it's got so much squish, so much squish, um, and I love it a lot, except it's a running jog, which if you know me, you know how much I hate a jog. I hate jogs so much. So, um, I mean, no one's going to see it. When I wear it, it scrunches up. No one's going to notice it. No one's going to know. Um, except I know it's there. So, but it's so squish, honestly, guys. I highly recommend the yarn. I'm going to redo the pattern and double check it wasn't something that I did, okay? Because that that's that's a distinct possibility you guys like the frame of mind that i was in when i made this in a few hours because i was working quick um it may have been how i read the pattern so i'm going to go through and make it again um i'm going to make it with some four ply because i also had to adjust the size because this is a, this is a really chunky yarn and the pattern was not for this sort of yarn so it really jogs hard um here not a fan um, looks amazing like this. So excited. And I love when I first put it, when I was first putting the colors together, I was like, oh, I really like, like these sets of colors and these sets of colors and even together they're great. And I was like, this, these two here just kind of just go, yeah, we're a bit out there. But I realized that when I wear it, I can actually decide if I want the blues and greens to show more, if I want the pinks and the light blues to show more. So I just, definitely um i actually really like it i like that i can sort of choose which way i want to go so i can either have let's mess up my hair again i can have the blue and the green as the focus and you can still see all the other colors but having them at the top is like they're good colors for my face right so like ha 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 um but i've just realized my phone's not on phone good job chantelle well done um but I also really like that when the pink is on the top. So it's basically now two separate cows, which I love. And I love them both. And that sits really nicely. It's not so light that it's moving. Um, anyway, 
I love it a lot. Whoops, just whack the camera. Except for that jog. I don't like jogs. Jogs, jogs suck. Duck, you know, let's put that on a shirt. Jogs suck. Um, I just double checked to see if the message that I got was anything worth worrying about. Um, nope, all good. Okay. <laughs> so I highly recommend the yarn. Not 100% certain about that cow, um, about the pattern. I love the stitch and I love doing the stitch, but I do want to double check because it could be me. The join for the rounds kind of did my head in. I think that there'd be a way to absolutely make it less joggy, really. Um, and and so, I well, maybe not. And maybe that's why she did it this way. But also um, because of the yarns that she used in the design, it would be a lot less obvious, whereas I've just used whatever I wanted, totally different yarn, totally different colours, um, ended up with a million ends to weave in because she used two balls. One was black and one was a variegated and I've used six different colours. So, you know, um, yeah. Bub says, uh, excellent point, Bub, that I could actually crochet a band to go around that, that section. The problem is, and I love the idea, I think it's a great idea, Oh, no, look, if I did that, it could totally do it. It would also remind me, oh, I'll just stab myself in the face. Um, yeah, that could totally work. I was a little worried because it is such a wide suede. Like the actual jog starts here and ends up here. Like that's your, that's your gap for your jog. So, um, yeah, I was, I was a little like, oh. But, no, that could totally work and just create like a six-stripe band with all the colours, and then you could just pull it on that way. I like that idea a lot, and I'm probably going to utilise that idea. Um, Leanne says that I, I like that double focus colour flip it for a new look. Me too. Me too. Um, so, yeah. Pixie Stitch, welcome to the chat. Think uh, invisible. Jo uh, sorry, you think little John Yarn put out a tutorial for invisible joining? Yeah, there's like there's heaps of ways to do it that would make it less noticeable. Um, some awesome ways, but they didn't they didn't do that way. Now the way that they end and join is really interesting and it's different, and that's why I want to double check because I may have screwed it up. It could be me. It could be a me error, and it could look fantastic. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, good morning to Teresa. Welcome to the chat. So, yeah, it is just definitely, it's Savage Knits says it's a pretty cow and you love the colours. Thank you, Savage Knits. Um, it was very fast, I will say, because of its, its chunky yarn. Um, I do have, have a lot of leftovers. Okay, so let's bring in this top-down camera that's really doing my head in today. Ooh. Oh, let's try again. Let's, let's, let's do this and let's do that. Nope, it hates us. It's official. It's, it's, it's angry. It's so angry. Let me just, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I've got to check some cables and I'm, I forget every week and then it's like, oh, it's too late to check any cables. But I've got a feeling it's probably a cable or I probably need to do some sort of, um, some sort of, let me just make the exposure manual. There we go. That is helpful, but not awesome. And we want to bring up that, that white balance is a lot better at least, but let's bring in some gain here. Let's, let's, does that, did that do anything? Oh, it did not. All right. I mean, that's better than what it was. Okay. Anyway, so, oh, that's the other thing. Did I, I, didn't set the focal point. I'm an idiot. Try again, Chantel. Let's try this again. Let's set a focus point. We might just zoom in just a little dash and set a focus point. That's not it. That'll do. All right. I want to mess around. Okay. Anyway, so the yarn, the yellow bag probably didn't help anything because it's yellow. It's so bright. It's such a bright yellow. Um, so... All right, so these are my leftovers. <laughs> There's still so much left. My scales are out here, so I actually haven't weighed how much of each colour I used. 
but it is a worst weight and it is a um it's a good solid heavy worst worst weight it's 75 yards per 50 grams so that's like it's a, and it's a cotton modal so there's some heft to it it's 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 got a chunk and um like i could totally make i can totally make another one there's so much yarn so i'm gonna do it again um yeah my skin tone looks a lot better now doesn't it <laughs> um let me have a look uh your skin was purple yeah it really did it went purple it's looking a lot more normal tonight <laughs> yep um all right a wrist is stuff for spindle spinning yeah or nah okay so wristy staffs like you're not used to using one but i'm sure you could learn how to use one honestly i think a wristy staff is probably a better option than the full-on stick ones they've probably got a, a legit name i call it the stick ones um i've got a wristy staff oh guys i'm gonna sneeze i'm so sorry no maybe not i'm trying not to i'm holding it in with the with the will and the might of my brain but eventually we all know i'm gonna lose okay so um but the, the wrist is stuff i like it to a degree um it does it take some adjusting to and i picked i got mine as a gift but it came from spanish peacock and it's very cute so you can go and have a look um get a small one to start with and see if you like it and then it's not too big of a you know issue uh, lightweight is what you want for a distaff. You don't want it to be adding too much weight on your wrist where you're already spinning and you've got to move your hands around. So, um, yeah. Oh, okay. So a wooden one or one made of strings. Personally, I've only ever used a wooden one. I've never used and It's got like a leather strap that went on my wrist and a wooden distaff. I've never tried using the one with the strings. For me, I can just see it being a pain in the butt but people love it so it's it's like the different brands of knitting needles you've got to try these different things to see what works for you um because just because i like it doesn't mean you will and and just because i think it will be painful to use doesn't mean it actually is so you know you've got to give it a trial yourself um and see how it goes <sighs> anyway back to back to the back to the yarns back to the yarns all right Oh, wrong camera. That's 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 like let's not have that shot again. Jeez. <laughs> I normally straighten up a little before that show. I've got to... <laughs> shocking, shocking. But back to the shine. You know how I was worried about the you remember when I first pulled and it was like, oh, there's fluff coming out, and it's not an issue, it hasn't been an issue at all. It's been a total non-issue. And the other thing I loved, it didn't split. It wasn't at all splitty to work with. And I, 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 I'm like, oh, man, I definitely want to try and use this to make some of those amazing pencil cases um, that uh, I, I left it inside. The um, Tinnas little zip pouches, I definitely think it needs to, I, I want to try that. I think it would look amazing. Um, it feels fantastic. I don't know how it will wear because obviously it's brand new and this is my first time with this yarn. But it does have the slightest halo on it, just a slight one. I'm only because I'm only noticing it because I'm looking for it. Um, but it crocheted up like a dream. Honestly, it was a total non-issue when it came to um when it came to being like the last cotton that I used to make the zip cap pouch, it was a, I think it was Flinders from Spotlight in Australia. And it just kept splitting and it was driving me up the wall. Like I would put the hook in and it would just be like, oh, and you'd have to pull it out and put it back in and try again. And it was literally doing my head in, right? Whereas now, sorry, that having that mat there, I could see it and it was doing my head in as well. You guys know, I, I like things to be in a particular way. Um, and it just, it didn't do that. It didn't split. Now, I was using um, my Clover Amours. Um, I used a, I want to say a five, five mil hook. Um, the yarn says to use a K, which is a six and a half mil. 
I mean, you could, but I'm a loose crocheter. So for me, I needed to drop a hook size anyway. So see what works for you. But it was a it was a joy. It was an absolute joy to, to, to work with, honestly. And I'm definitely looking at this yarn for other jobs now. I think it would make the most amazing blankets. Now, they'll be a bit weighty. I'm not going to lie to you. There's some heft in this. Um, it's so small and lightweight. I'm so used to working with four-ply wool that worst of weight cotton, totally different. Um, but, yeah, it's. I think it would make an amazing blanket. Um, don't know if it would be the best value <laughs> to make a blanket with. What did we say? It was like $6.50 Australian for a 50-gram ball. So probably not the best value. So a little blanket like a, a knee rug or something like that. Um, yeah. It is definitely, uh, it may not be the best value for it, but I think it would make an amazing piece, honestly. Um, but I'm going to wash this a few times and see how it comes up and see if it still looks as pretty before I go to the effort of making a blanket out of it. So, yes. Um, uh, oh, Gabby, thank you. Thank you. They're just about due for a, for an update, but they're, they're still good. Um Tintamani says, uh, as you know, I have many bangles and watch, et cetera, to get fluff tangled in. Yeah. And I think that's the other thing as well to remember is I don't wear jewellery. I don't like jewellery. I don't wear bracelets. I don't wear watches. I don't wear rings. Um, if I'm going out somewhere, like, okay, we're going out for dinner, I might put on some earrings and maybe a little necklace, but that is it. Um, and then they're the first things that come off when I get home. I'm like, oh, earrings. Ugh. Um so, it, like, whereas you're used to having things, so it could be a totally different experience for you than it is for me. Well, it probably will be because we're different people. Um, yeah, so that's that. Do you guys have any questions about the Swish? I've used it for a single project now, so I'm an expert. Um, not Swish, Shine. So if you've got any questions about the Shine, um, drop them in the chat, and I will try to answer them as best I can. Um, but you guys know the deal. If I don't know the answer, I don't know the answer and I'll tell you so. So in the meantime, I'm going to drink some tea. Mm. It needs a top up. Oh, very funny, Freaky. How bright is the shine? Well, Freaky, I can't answer that. I don't know. That would depend on your location. Right now it's quite bright because there's four lights like going straight onto it. So, yeah. Mm. I'm just checking our poll results so far for this. It's about a 60-40 so far for where the people know about the Big Wool Show. So that's pretty cool. All right. right. Well, then, if there's no questions about the shine, I'm going to pack it away. Back in the yellow bag that destroys the colour balance. <laughs> um, so if you want your own yellow bags, um, I've been working very, very, very busily um, doing, get, got my old cricket running, the old cricket. I'll grab some here because we've already got we've already broken the camera this morning. These are going to be available this weekend on the fibre fix stall. So this is a really good bright yellow. So don't let the other camera fool you, okay? Um, sorry, I'm busy. I'm crafting today. Is on one side, and on the other side is the yarn ninja. So that's on one. And then the other, which also has a yarn ninja on the back, they all have the yarn ninja on the back, is I like to party, and by party, I mean crochet. So that was a little crochet specific. Got a couple of hooks jeweling it out up the top there. I did double check that because I was like, ah, oh, you would be, I would say you would be shocked, but you probably wouldn't be shocked at the number of graphics that you can buy that talk about crochet and then have knitting needles. It did my head in. It absolutely did my head in. So this is the yellow um, and it's got like the blurple. So, and then we'll fluke that. So these are going to be $10 each. They're cotton bags. Um, they'll be over on the website up on the weekend. Um, yes, so working very hard on those. 
And then also, Freaky says that yellow has me thinking of a rain, yellow raincoat. You know what? It's a good yellow. It's a good yellow. Um, now, now that we've gotten rid of the yellow, hopefully, deep breath. Let's let's try again, little camera. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I keep doing evil things to you, and I really do need to check your firmware. Okay. Um, really. This is not the place for that discussion. I just put that out there. Um, Sally says, I'm not shocked about that at all. Yeah, I know. I was just like, are you kidding me? Because I'd find me like, oh, man, that looks awesome. Because I'm not a graphic designer, so I buy the commercial rights to print things. Um, and so, like, I mean, it, it comes in a file and I have to make it fit all the different things. But I, I, I'm no good. I mean, I'm getting better, but I'm not very good at it. Anyway, um, it, it was, I'd just be like, that one's per poor, not perfect, not perfect. Um, Freaky says, has your cry cut made, ha you has a cry cut, you can make your own. I mean, the thing is, the cry cut can cut out the, the stuff I can put in, right, except I'm not good at the putting, the, 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 the making of the things to put it in the cricket. So just before Kim comes in and we start, she comes in and hears us calling a, a cry cut. <laughs> Sucked in our tag. <laughs> oh, look at his sad now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for those who don't know, Vampire and our tag are husband and wife. Okay. So, so they, they bicker. Not usually. It's normally things like this. Or, or no pizza, or you can't have pizza, but I want pizza, but you can't have pizza. Um, okay, so we're going to try the top down again because the other thing I've been making is badges. And I've been probably having a little bit too much fun making the badges, okay? Like I know, I know that I probably don't need as many as I've got or that I've got cut out ready to make, um, but, you know, yeah. Um, hey, no posts on Sundays. Welcome to the chat. Um, so let's see if we've less trash if I don't. Oh, my God. Seriously, what do you need from me? You just hate me, don't you? What is that? What? What is this? 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 This is terrible. Like, you hate me now, don't you? This is, you're getting me back now for, for using the yellow bags. It's so dark. It's so dark. All right, let me just, I'm going to configure it again. This is live streaming at its best, everybody. Okay, let me have a look here. I've got white balances set. I've got exposure is set. Look, do you know what? You suck at auto white balance. So let's look what we're going to do. Oh, wow. We're going to do it ourselves. Apply. You, you and your auto white balance can go away. All right. Um, I, there's so many, there's so many. Um, so we've got, these are the 35 millimeter ones. I hold it up. Like we've got this one. I'm trying to make it less blurry. And, um, we've got one that says crafting is cheaper than therapy. Maybe not how I craft. Um, craft like nobody is watching. Oh, fingers are working. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. Do we think that's, like, inappropriate at this time? Like, I love that one. I thought that was good, awesome. Um, crafters, gone to craft. I've got that one in a couple of colours. I craft, therefore I hoard. Try to make it so it's not glary under the light there. So, yeah, there's, a, there's oh, basically, uh, basically my craft room. Uh, my craft room is basically my entire house. So we've got a few of those ones, but we've got like craft nerd, so crochet nerd, and we've got it's not hoarding if it's yarn, things like that. So there's those ones. This is the 35 mils. That's it for them. I have no more of the hardware to make any more. I thought I had another bag. Turns out, no, I don't. So I went a little hard on the teeny tiny ones. These are little 25 mil ones, which this is my favorite size personally. Um, 
And so we've got some of the crafters going to craft. So we've got those ones. And, and I made some in like different colours and just to trial it out. So it was like crafters going to craft with black font on pink. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. So these like little one inch badges. I, I, I had a bit of fun trialing some stuff. Um, that one's a little harder to see. In real life, it's pretty easy to see. That should be fun taking photos. I just want to stay at home and craft. There's a lot of those. <laughs> oh, it got me. We knew it would. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. I have tissues. Just in case. Stab, dab. Okay. But, yeah, so we've got lots of different colours. Look. I'm not going to be happy till they're all out. So let's just tip them out. Sorry, I should have probably given you like a noise warning. Dim, 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 dim. So we're going to have these up on the website as well, like Knit Wizard and Stableen and, oh, hello, 20 cent piece. Cool. Oh, there you go, Australians. That's a 20 cent piece. If you're not in Australia, you probably won't really understand the the uh the size thing there okay all right so we've got lots of different ones we've got crochet queen and yeah so many anyway I've, I've been having a lot of fun with these okay um let me have a look we need a hundred more thumbs um i mean i don't need two personally Thank you to Arctic Wolves. I appreciate that. Yes, it did take its time. Absolutely. I did give you warning. I gave you like plenty of warning. <laughs> so, but yeah, so, and I've got tons more to make and variations on a theme. Then I've got to get all the photos up onto the website. So these are going to be, um, it's all good. The eardrums are shot anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Sal. Sorry, Sally. Um, so, yeah, so we've got lots of um, stuff to play with here and just, you know, there's going to be so many, honestly. So we've got lots of badges um, or pin back badges. Now, I'm, I'm, everybody be warned if you've got headphones on, take them off because I'm going to slide all these back into the bucket. I'm actually giving you a warning this time, like a legit noise warning. Are we ready? Here we go. Okay, headphones back on. The headphones on, just in case you had them off. Um, so, yes, there's so much stuff coming up. I'm probably a bit overwhelmed with my workload right now. <laughs> um, just, oh, not loud at all. Thank you, Freaky. I just thought I'd better give you some warning just in case. So I have brought my queen out. I have not worked on it since last week. I have, like, I made, I made the cow on the weekend and that's the only craft I've done I've been um ironing on the vinyls that I'd already cut out for the, the 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 bags and all sorts of other stuff and I haven't really had any craft time so I'll grab that in a second um just charging up the old iPad with the pattern on it so so much better than nails on a chalkboard oh well thanks I think um my mum actually rang me and she was like, oh, I listened to that um, that podcast you're on. And she goes, you know, your voice isn't as grating as I thought it would be. And I was just like, what? <laughs> Is my voice grating? Is it grating on all your nerves, honestly? I was just like, "Is is that is that a compliment or not? And she's like, no, 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 it's good. She goes, you know, some Australians have that real like ochre twang. And she goes, you don't really have it. And I was just like, again, compliment, not a compliment? I don't know. I don't, I just don't know. I mean, I, I think it's a compliment. I'm going to take it as a compliment. Not that having the Ocker Twang is bad, but I'm definitely going to take it as a compliment. Yes, agreed. Mums are the worst. Mums, yep. 
that's right that's right it's just like really really okay fine okay so so yeah so we've got we've got the big wolf show coming and it's, it's pretty well taking all of my mental energy at the moment i've been running um if you go and have a look at the big bull show um channel on youtube you'll see that there is a whole pile of sponsor interviews and they've all been done this week so they're all going up there's one more left to go up um it'll go up later on today and that's with the amazing wendy beer um those of you that, that are um regulars here you know that wendy is a friend of fiberific and she's been on our live streams before so it was a little different to the others because we were used to chatting to each other in this way and um we realized that we kept going off topic like really that never happens i never go off topic but we really did find that we were like having to reel it in so it's a bit of a funny one to watch um people understand you and keep coming back for the lives all has to be good oh that's good freaky i'm glad to hear that i did have someone comment one time about my you know accent or how i spoke and maybe i should learn english or something and i'm just like delete um it's like really Mm. And I've just realized there's something very, very like, can I, I don't know if I can change that now. Oh, I can. I can go in and edit it. I've just got to fix a setting here um, because I realized none of you would have had an ad and that is okay. But let's, let's have no more of that. Saved. There we go. That's good. Anybody coming in now will get an ad. <laughs> all right so uh queen queen i'm just looking at the space i've got here just trying to work out what i'm going to do also i'm going to try the camera again and it's probably just going to be like <laughs> blow out or something because i'm working with yellow good job Chantel. well done cleverly thought out i'm just going to move these to over here and one queen ah hello queen so for those of you that haven't seen the queen i'm just gonna do a thing here and give you the big wide shot hang on <laughs> just double checking can't have that again goodness me all right big wide shot of the queen the queen is my queen is just over two meters wide so it is very big so this is like the desk is 1.8 you don't get all of the desk in the shot um but yeah so the queen is very big and it's taken me a very very long time to make um ooh, there we go get back up on the table nobody wants you on the floor all right how's everybody else's projects going i should ask um because i'm very curious as to how all your projects are going all right so we're going to go back up here it's not dreadful i mean it makes the purple look black but other than that it's fine um pop that over there let's it's a little it's a little muted like rolling in okay um where are we up to we are on that i've just got to open the pattern i'm so organized so organized today because i didn't know if we would get time for crafting honestly wakey wakey there we go yeah i didn't know if we would get time for crafting and so i wasn't like making sure i had room for craft if that makes sense which sounds so dumb now but yeah that's where i was at with my brain where's my crochet hook Oh, <laughs> I already pulled it out. I am so clever. All right. Let's get under the camera here. Work out where I'm up to. We're coming up to a repeat. So we do that. So let me know in the chat, what are you, what are you working on? I really would like to know. Um, there's some, oops, where's the mouse? Here we go. Um Chintamani has finished her alpaca socks for her dad. They will be so toasty for him, honestly. Um, Freaky Geek has finally finished the sweater I was working on. 
and find I can't wear it. Why not? Is it is it a size thing or is it just because it's too hot? Because if it's too hot, it can go in the cupboard. Um, Kathy says, I finished the cows and working on my waffle blanket. Waffle blankets take some time. They take a lot of yarn and a lot of time. Um, so uh, Artsog is finally finished the virus blanket. That is amazing. Oh, and you posted a photo in the fun zone. I'll go and check that out. Now working on a baby blanket. Nice. Um, nice. Very good. Sally said, I started a new project yesterday, a granny square jumper for my niece. I saw a photo of that. That's looking awesome as well. Oh, Freaky says, the sweater fits, but too much 100% wool. Is it like itchy wool? Because it might be okay if you wear like a long sleeve thing under it, maybe. Wow. Oh, part seven of Ron Strong's Mandela blanket. Wow, you are powering. Bub's working on some socks. Vampire is working on blanket squares for charity. Nice. The Game Widows is sewing project bags. Game Widows has made so many bags for her store listing over up for the Big Wool Show. It's looking amazing. So many. So much choice. You're giving us so much choice. Um, Leanne is working on Benedict the Shrew from Erin Lee. Um, I still have one arm, a leg, and a tail, and the hat to make. I'm still working on my first one. because I keep like, it's like, right, I've got time to crochet. I'm going to work on the blanket. And it's like, no, no, you could totally work on it because it's a, they're both the whips I want to focus on. And it's just, but I keep doing this one instead. Um, oh, no, Lizby can't get the crochet back after the queen. Oh, that's terrible. Christina, I was whipping out some cotton dish cloths as some gifts. You guys, after last week's chat about the crochet dish cloths, um, as, as um, the granny square ones, I've been inspired. They're on my list. I've got, I've got all that cotton that I ordered. It needs a home. So some of it's going to go into granny square dish cloths. So it's going to be awesome. Wow. Um Andrea, welcome to the chat. Working on her queen and a costume for Issy. That's awesome. Yep, wool. I'm allergic to and a T-shirt is not enough protection as I'd hoped it would be. No, sometimes you need like a turtleneck under it to make sure that none of the wool is actually touching your skin like none. And and you're, you're in a cold enough climate that in the depths of winter you might need a turtleneck under a jumper. For me, I need a turtleneck or a jumper, not both, ever in Brisbane and I go to Victoria I do um Lisby says yeah that is very disappointing um Ruth is also working on a simple Havana shawl nice actually you know what that's an excellent point Freaky you now know that you can make a sweater and you can find um find some fiber content that suits you better and you've any mistakes you've made are all in that one so you can work on something new um, Lisby says, bros had time to look at it, reckons it's cheap cotton and had mistakes. Are you kidding? Is that the black, that beautiful queen that you made for your, for your new niece? You, your brother, I, I don't even have words. I have words. Actually, I do. I have plenty of words. I can't use any of them in a live stream. I'm just going to sit over here and fume a little. That's just, <sighs> yeah. Um, crocheting a joke and see if it helps you jumpstart. Jen Deal says, I, I can't wear turtlenecks. I feel like I'm being choked. Me too. I'm a V-neck girl. I like V-necks. Um, <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh, I, Liz, me, I'm fuming. I'm so fuming. God. Yeah, that's I'm also hush, freaky. Yeah, no, we love you, Christina. Oh, yes, thank you. We will all fume because that is just rude. That's just so rude. What you made was beautiful, and it was using lovely cotton. Not it was beautiful Hobie cotton. Like. Ugh.
Anyway, back to the crochet. This is cheap. What I'm using, acrylic, cheap. Yes, I wouldn't say nasty. It's a nice acrylic, but it's cheap, which is why I'm using it for such a big project. You picked stunning, glorious cotton. Oh, I'm, so, I'm yep. I, I'm not over it yet. I'm not over it yet. <sighs> okay. Um, wait. Hang on a second. <laughs> um, I think I think I've got my marker on the wrong row. Hang on a second. Let me just double check. So it's it is three. One, two, one, two, three. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. now it's all good. Marker's on the right row. I just wasn't reading it correctly because we all know that happens. Um, I just, Lisby, I'm so, I don't even know what to say. We know. All of us here and those of us in the fun zone, we know that what you made is beautiful and quality. We know, okay? That's the thing. All right, we know it was beautiful. I know it was beautiful. And your brother, what does he know? He knows nothing about yarn craft. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're all with you. Oh, Ruth Young is packing for a trip to Alabama for a family emergency. Wow, okay. Lisby, seriously, you don't need to justify two little two little stitch errors in an entire blanket. I mean, I probably got at least two. I don't even care. <laughs> but, I mean, this is not a gift for somebody. This is for me. So, um, yeah. It's so fuming. I'm so fuming right now. I'm just like trying not to, try not to, yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, take that off screen. We don't need that there. Um, yes, um, Bruce. Kathy is 100% right. Yes, sorry, I, I, did, I didn't mean to make light of what you were saying there. I just kind of got distracted. But I really do hope that everything goes well. So, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, this is something. It's not saying he doesn't love the blanket, though. So, okay, right. Um, <laughs> press F to pay respects. Oh my goodness, my laptop's really like humming hard. I hope you guys can't hear that. The microphone is directly above it, so hopefully. <laughs> All right, let's keep let's keep going. Let's 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 focus on some good stuff and try not to. Try not to focus on Lisby's brothers of dorky dumbness, st stupid dumb heads, <clears throat> butt face. He's a butt face. Let's go with that. He's a butt face and move on. All right. So I'm working on my queen. Do you know, guys, last week after the live stream, I did not even finish the row, which I normally do. I will normally sit here and end out a row, and I didn't even do that. Um, oh, no, wait a second. Maybe I did and I started because this was maybe I started a new row when I was doing a Zoom and didn't finish that row. That could have been it. That could have been it. So, yeah. I'm, I've, I'm writing down in my to-do list if I can find a pen. There's a pen. 
to check this camera so I don't forget. So I don't forget, it's in my to-do list now. It made it to the to-do list. That is the important thing. <laughs> yeah, I thought I did great. I thought I was fantastic. <laughs> um, Sally says, all I can hear in the background is the banging. But I'm sure if it's my stupid ear. No, it's banging. There's legit banging going on next door. Well, it's across the road. But it's very close. It seems that it's right just outside my window. It's not. Um Oh, Chintami just scrolled through my Insta and someone's posted about put balls. We finished our box this week. So a while ago I ordered a big box. It was massive. Um, I think it was 50, 50 put balls. Um, and it took, us, it took us like eight weeks to get through them. We tried so hard to make them last as long as possible. Um, but, yeah, so... Yeah. Wow. Well, all right, back to back to what I was doing. Hooks up. Hooks up. Is everybody working? Is everybody working on something? Sally, you're working as being a mod, I'm sure. Um but yeah. Oh, I just I'm trying not to I'm trying to focus. Just focus. What it is is my hands and brain are like, do you have time to be crafting right now? Should you not be doing something else? Should you maybe be taking the photos for the website? Should you? And this is rattling off this list of things that I need to get done before tomorrow afternoon. And it's just like, dude, relax. This is our like slated time that we can have fun and crochet and do whatever we want. <sighs> I'm waiting for a mold to dry. I got a crafting kit delivered today. Oh, what are you making? What 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 mold? So yeah, so it's not just the Lisby thing that's distracting me, but <clears throat> the fact that my brain's trying to remind me that I have nineteen thousand little tasks to do. Um. Yes, it absolutely counts as working. I know I'd rather be crafting as well, but it absolutely counts for sure. Um, I'm at work trying to get drivers loaded for fuel deliveries. Oh, sorry, Jen. Um, I say take your time, do the live six hours and work on the blanket. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, she's bragging she was able to get three jars online. Oh, dude, all you do is you send him an email and ask for a catering box. <laughs> That's what I did. Uh, yes, Nerdy Craft. Did you get her new kit? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Nerdy Craft is amazing. Um, I was waiting for somebody to jump in and get him back, but awesome. The not another crap kit. Nerdy Craft does amazing reviews, right? And she does. She's very creative. She does all sorts of craft, and like painting and molding and and all sorts of stuff. And she put together this fantastic craft kit because she does this thing called um, uh, is it cash or trash? Like giving you cash or trash it. And so she she buys all these like little craft kits, and most of them are trash. So yeah. That's exactly right. That's exactly what's going on. Like, yes, 100%. That's exactly what's going on here. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you found her um, non other craft crap kit to be less crappy than some of the other kits? I, I personally am not that kind of creative, so I didn't get one. I'm no good at painting things, except for houses. I can paint houses, but I can't paint, like, creative stuff. Many, many years ago, in one of my past careers, I worked for a decorating company and painted walls on houses. It was exciting. 
No, it wasn't. But that's how I learned to become ambidextrous because I got blisters on one hand. So I'd undercoat with one hand and top coat with the other because I was the cutting in girl. I ran around and did all the cutting in so that the roller guys could just come in and roll really easy. Um, so, yeah. Oh, you got the Jazza one as well. They're both just as good. Oh, that's awesome. Jazz is amazing. I've met Jazza um, at a big con. Oh, are you kidding me? Like, I did nothing. Why do you hate me so much? Oh, like, seriously, you guys, we did nothing. I didn't change anything. Uh, it just hates me. <coughs> We're going to change the setup here a little. <laughs> I'm not going to use that camera anymore today. It doesn't like me. It just went blue all by itself. No, no lights. Everything's good. The camera just went, pfft. my camera needs a holiday. It probably, look, do you know what? It probably just needs an update. I haven't, I haven't given it one. I mean, yeah, but. It probably just totes needs an update. So, yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lift my hands up and crochet like this so that you can at least see what I'm doing. The camera knows it's spring and has hay fever. Yeah, that's probably exactly. So you guys can only see the back now. I don't like that. What if I just do this? <laughs> oh, goodness me. We just can't win, can we? It has been a very good camera for a very long time and it probably just needs me to do something that I need to do. Oh, you reckon it needs to go to Mooloolaba? I, I agree. I agree. It needs a holiday to Mooloolaba. I would I would happily take it on a holiday to Mooloolaba for sure. Love Mooloolaba. Mooloolaba is up on the Sunshine Coast. It's one of the places that my lungs really like as well. My lungs love it on the Sunshine Coast. They're very happy up there. It's where I grew up, up that way. So, you know, it's like going home. So, yeah. I mean, I did grow up in a lot of places. I went to 13 primary schools, lots of primary schools. So, you know, when it's like, which primary school did you go to for like those fishing filter things? You know, it was like, you know, on Facebook when it's just like, oh, tell me that, you know, that you're an 80s kid without telling me you're an 80s kid. <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, fishing filter. Um, but yeah, no, it is definitely, um, <clears throat> oh, my voice is gone too now. Everything's gone. <clears throat> the loo with a view. Oh my gosh. Yes. There is literally a place on a Google map and it's a public toilet. It is a public toilet. It's a loo and it is set in this spot that gives it the best view. Like you couldn't buy real estate with a view as good. We need, you know what we should do? We should organise a retreat to the Sunshine Coast. We could make it work <laughs> so that I get to go. <clears throat> Goodness me. <laughs> oh, let's see, if, let's see if I can have my camera back. Are you okay now? Yeah. You just needed a little minute. You just need a, you needed a moment just to sort yourself out. Okay. You're all good now. Now we know if we switch away and we switch back, because that's all I did. I didn't do anything else. I didn't reset it. I did nothing. I just switched away and had a cry and switch back. So welcome to live streaming with Chantel. <laughs> Things happen. Move on. Um. Really? The MCG members area has a toilet where you can continue to watch the game. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think it's getting overheated or anything like that. I just think I just think I need to give it an update. Um, my plan is get rich, build a place up where we can do craft retreats and that's fully wheelie accessible. 
Yes, that sounds amazing. Um, yeah, I agree with you. That does sound totally sketchy. Yeah, 100% sketcheroni. So I'm just having a look at the poll here that we started at the, the beginning of the stream. I'm just going to end the poll. Do, 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 do. Poll results are in. It's now 50, 50, about 52.47. It can't, it can't count because it should be 53.47, but okay. Um, so those of you that didn't know about the Big Wool Show, do you think you'll come and, and have a watch and see what we're doing? It does. It's, it's going to be fun, trust me. Um, I've just finished folding. Now I need to, oh, that's exciting. That's a, no, I don't, I don't want, yes, washing is the worst. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hang on. We'll go back here. Are you make as handwriting champion Roblox, um, who I know from other live streams, um, I'm making a blanket. Um, we're going to go to the big shot just to show handwriting um, so that you can see what we're doing here. Okay. It's a massive blanket. Okay. So it's huge. It's like over two meters wide. And it will end up on a queen size bed. So, like, there we go. And keep keeps going and keeps going. But it, it is a blanket and, and it will be done. Apparently never. Apparently never. It will never be done. So, yeah. Um, I could put a pick of the fun zone. Too sore. Why I can't crochet now? As long as it's not a graphic pick, we'll take it. Absolutely. Um, there is bathrooms and sp oh the camera's done a doo doo again. Hang on, we'll go over here. There's loos and bathrooms and sports bars that have TV screens behind the mirrors at the sinks. I mean that's different. That's that I can bear with as long as it's like behind the sink. It's looking great so far. Thank you. Appreciate that. Definitely appreciate that. Let's see if we can. Let's see how long it has to be off that screen for. No still what I might do is can I I can't edit it while it's not on screen so we'll just have to leave it alone you just need time out don't your little camera um where am I up to that that stitch so yeah so we've got the big wool show coming the six hour live streams for Saturday and Sunday um we're going to be having different guests every 15 minutes or so um, popping in. We've got giveaways, conversations, hanging out. Um, it's going to be a really fun event. Uh, hopefully it doesn't feel too rushed. That's probably my only concern with like 15-minute intervals is that it may feel rushed. It may not. It might feel totally fine. I've just never done it that way before. So last year we had 30-minute intervals. Um, and I think some of them felt a little long, which is why we decided to go at the 15 this time around to see how it goes. Because, like, you know, we're consummate professionals. This is only the second time we've run the event. And um, we are really looking forward to it. But there's so much available if you go over to the Big Wool Show YouTube channel. There's so much to see already, honestly. And if you want to catch last year's live streams, I think they're up there now as well. Um, so much to see. So much to see. So, yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. We're nearly at the end of the round. Oh, end of the round. It's a row, Chantel. It doesn't go round and round. That looks a little uncomfortable. It's actually not. So I've got my elbow tucked down. So it's just everything. Like my elbow is basically on. It's very comfortable. It's like four, six layers of the blanket under my elbow. It's actually surprisingly comfy. And because this is how I crochet, because I've got my wrong glasses. These glasses are for this. They're for the screens. These glasses are not for my up-close work. So it's good that I'm kind of like I can look down. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, 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 you know, it's actually quite comfortable. When I crochet inside, I crochet like this. I have my arms tucked in under and like elbows towards my hips, lean back, and I crochet like this. This is my natural crocheting position. Um, so when I'm not on camera, I actually find crocheting like 
this with my hands down under a camera, I find that a lot slower and a lot more uncomfortable. This is actually like a good in-betweeny. I mean, it just means you guys don't get to see as much, though, and I don't like that. I don't like it. Let's see if the camera has stopped being a doo-doo head yet. Are you still a doo-doo? Um, let's check. Nope, not a doo-doo. Woohoo! Yeah, for not being a doo-doo for now. Let's not get too excited. We know it could change at a moment's notice. Um, yeah. Let me have a look here in the chat. Um, if half an hour is too long and 15 minutes is too short, we can try for 20. Absolutely, we can try for 20. For sure. That, that will definitely be the next thing. Because it could be the sweet spot. It really could be. Um, yeah, you're not spinning. How do you get around in there? Good job, freaky. Can always rely on you. Goodness me. But yeah, no, I I I I can crochet sitting in I can crochet laying in bed and sitting in bed and doing, you know, like sitting in chairs and sitting in uncomfortable chairs. I actually personally prefer not to crochet if I'm sitting in an uncomfortable chair. I don't I don't enjoy it as much. I really just don't. Um, I definitely like to be seated comfortably, and I think that's more in for more important to be seated comfortably. I can manoeuvre my arms, etc., wherever they need to be. Um, but to be seated comfortably makes the big difference. Uh, oh yes, we're we're coming up to the end here. As you guys know, the end stitches are always a little different, so I'm just checking the pattern that I'm not allowed to show you. Um, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. The colours that the top cameras show are definitely um, more accurate than what the webcam's currently showing. Skizzers. Snippages, bam. Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously. All righty, we have finished a row. Da -da 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 -da. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm just like. What I know what I did. I moved my hands up closer to the camera. That that time it was that. Um, where are we? Ruth is off. Night, y'all. Have fun with that, Ruth. Have a good day. And that's good pet ownership right there. That's a good thing to do. Um, yes. Yeah, the cameras. The, the camera really didn't like it. No, it was just like Ooh, no. It's probably like, do you know what? I probably put a setting somewhere and that I need to unclick or uncheck or something, and it's just having tantrums because I've probably done something wrong. It's probably got nothing to do with the camera and lots to do with me tweaking and playing with things and then ruining them. <laughs> it's like I'm like, oh yeah, I changed up some stuff, crash and burn, <laughs> dumpster fire, <laughs> totes happens, totes happens. Joining on the purple colour. There we go. All righty. We are on to the next row. Okay, let's see. I wonder how long it takes. Nope, still blue. Um, I'm going to deactivate that camera. It's all good. I'm doing this on purpose. And then I am going to activate the camera. We'll go over here and let it do its thing. Okay. That's probably the most I can do while I'm currently live on that camera. Short of ripping it off and hoiking it out a window, which I'm not far from doing, truth be known. Um, all right. Let's have a look. Nope. It's still blue.
it bugs me so much. Honestly, it really does. I just want it to work. Okay, let's configure it. That's all correct. Let's have a look here. The white balance is having issues. Okay. When it's blurry, the color's better. Thing happening here now. Hopefully you guys are all good. Um, we'll see how it goes. Yep, I've got buffering as well. Um, let me just check what's going on here. How are we all going? Are we all back? I had some buffering as well. It was on my end, so um, I'm not sure what caused that. It just... There we go. Keyboard's in the shot, but that's okay. All right. Uh, on the bright side, it makes the hook handle look pretty when it's blue. Yeah, it does. Um, oh, you've lost the dogs. What? what? Louie is obsessed with eating my yarn. I, I don't know what to do about it. I really don't know what to do about Louie and the yarn eating, honestly. Um, he's getting better. Um, not entirely good yet, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Like, does that? Okay. Wait. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more. The reason why it didn't look good is because I was in the wrong spot. Okay. All righty. Zooming out made a big difference, you guys. Um, countdown to purple has begun. What's a countdown to purple? Unless that's what you're calling my blue screen of evil here. Possum was about 10 before she stopped eating yarn. Oh. And Louis is, he's still a baby. He's still a baby. Absolutely. Sally's still around. Sally's still here. Keep an eye on you lot. Good job, Sally. Making sure no one's evil. No evildoers here. Okay. Let's, let's just keep going. Let's just keep crocheting and see if zooming out may have made the difference. I may have been too zoomed in and it was like struggling with all the color and, and all that stuff. But we can normally zoom in more. Anyway, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Okay, let's see. What's our rhythm going to be for this row? Do, do, do. Louis is lonely. And Louis is a dog. No, I mean, this is the thing. We play with Louis a lot. Okay, like we really do. He has a lot of time where he's played with and he has a lot of time where he's got company. Um, he thinks it's cute. He, like I'll be sitting there crocheting and he'll just appear like with a ball of yarn. Like, oh, yeah, mum, I can play with yarn too, see. And you know what, that's probably more what it is now that I think about it. He's letting me know he too is awesome and can play with yarn. Um, he does not like it when I'm live streaming, I'll be honest there. And if I could trust him not to chew on um, all the stuff that I've got around, he tries to steal the little tea lights that we have in the back there, which I've actually forgot to turn on. So see the little, the little, the little glass cup, it's got a little tea light in it. Like it's not a candle, it's a it's like a fake one. And um he runs straight in and jumps up and sticks his head straight in, knocks him over and makes him fall out and you've got to chase him because they've got like little button batteries in it. I don't want him getting his little dog mouth on that. So, um, yeah. So, like, if I know Louis is going to come out, because he does sometimes come out and hang out in here, 
um, I've got to clear it. I've got to make make it Louis proof um, because he will basically just grab whatever he can and bolt out the door with it. So, yeah, because he's evil. I got the cutest video of him last night. He was laying on the floor in the lounge room, throwing a toy up and, like, just flicking it in the air up and down for himself. So... Uh, hey John, my motto is better, better late than on time. <laughs> oh my goodness, did you forget about us? Not that it's not, not that you can't have a life and do your own things, but I'm just curious. Uh, it's definitely cute and a bit naughty. Definitely. Yep. Oh, that is definitely a good reason to actually go and spend time with actual live humans yeah ah oh, you spoke too soon lesby you spoke too soon um yeah but no that's definitely a good reason to, to to miss a live is to actually go and spend time with like real humans which you know two years ago i would have been like what like that's overrated but now it's not not that not not now that when it's very rare that we get to do it. So I got to have lunch with real humans yesterday and it was so nice. It was so nice. Also, the food was good. <laughs> but the humans were lovely as well. I loved spending time with the humans. And we were people watched other humans and that was also te that was terrifying because of where we were having lunch we were like oh my god did we really pick the best place i mean the food was good the company was awesome <laughs> but the uh the the show <laughs> the little left a little to be desired now i'm making a hat and a scarf for a stuffed dog i have questions <laughs> i have questions did you make the stuffed dog or did somebody else? And um, is it like a like a like a like a toy or is it like a, a, a what, uh, what is it? Um, where they where they stuff the real animal? Uh, there's, there's, my brain won't tell me the word for it. I know the word. I really do. Um, taxidermied. Taxidermied. Goodness me. Um, Lisby says, I don't know what to do with myself when I can leave the house. You just leave. You just go to a park. You just leave the house. You go somewhere else. Oh, it's a plushie. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good. Not taxidermied. Thank you. <laughs> Melissa has made it for the last bit. Yes, Melissa, you have. Awesome. Yes, everyone's jumping in with the taxidermy. Thank you. Oh, goodness. It is. We've been having some fun with this camera. So we're now holding our breath. We've all got our tongues in just the right spot, just so it hopes, just so that it stays and doesn't do anything evil. But maybe it was because I had it too zoomed in and it did not like this. Um, oh, you've got photos. Are your post photos in the fun zone? Awesome. Thank you, John. I love it when you guys do that. I really do love to see what you're all working on because you guys get to see what I'm working on. So I really do appreciate it when you when you make that effort and pop it over there so I can see. Um, I was thinking a stuffed dog is a well-fed puppy. Ah, and that could also be true. Absolutely. That could legit be true. Goodness. Well, we've got, my brain is really running, guys. Sorry. It's very much running at 100 miles an hour on all the things that need to be done. But I'm also appreciating this time that I have just sitting and chatting. I have been, I've started recently, um, you guys know I'm always about the improvements and always about learning things and, and improving myself as well as improving what I do. And someone 
um, in one of these things that I'm doing. I was talking about how we um, how we always get to the end of a year and go, oh God, you know, the year is over, but I didn't get anything done. I didn't make any, I didn't meet any of my goals or I didn't, you know, or I met hardly any of my goals and, you know, stuff like that. And you always look back and you think, oh, I could have done so much more. But what we don't do is we don't appreciate that we actually got a lot done. We got a lot done. And so the um, my goal for myself is to actually write out my to-do lists and write down the things I need to get done, the things I want to get done. And it even includes picking Abby up from school, um, just all the little tasks that you do throughout a day and just writing them down as a list and marking them off as you get done. But to also remember to not feel guilty if you didn't mark it off because you marked off all these other things or you were sick or something happened. Um, and it's not a guilt list. It's to look back on in 12 months' time and see the sheer number of things you did. Um, so that's my goal. We'll see if I can do it. We'll see if I can. So far I've stuck it out for three days. So woohoo! <laughs> so let's see if we can stick it out for a year. Um, I've just picked up. I like these little notepads from Daiso. So I just picked up a couple of these. They're just a, a little basic jobby. Um, and I'm just doing a little page a day so far. I don't do enough to need more than a page a day um, usually. like, And if I need to write lots of details, I've got a second notebook um, for if I've got to detail something out. It's just so that I remember to do all the details. It's not for this. Um, so, yeah, so I've got a couple of these. This one's getting a workout. It's not looking as, as fresh as the other one. It's looking a bit bendy and because I'm using it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And we'll see if it, it we'll see if it helps how I feel in 12 months. Um, it may not. It may make me look at it and go, wow, I look at all those gaps, look at all those things I didn't do. But I'm trying really hard to not even do that on a day-to-day -day basis. And if something I wanted to get done didn't get done one day, if I can do it the next, I'll do it the next. And if it was something that needed to be done and you missed out on it, then I miss out on it. I'm also trying to deal with my FOMO. Um, I have serious FOMO. And I don't like missing out on things. And it upsets me if I miss out on something that I really, really want to do. Um, and so I'm trying to consciously um, not stress out. Does that make any sense? Game Widows has said, I came to the realisation last night that if I don't make all the bags I wanted for the wool show, it's fine. And I'll still have my Etsy shop and I can add them after. Absolutely. That's exactly right. And you've got restock for later. Um, and people will remember to, and come back. That's the thing. Everyone realises the Big Wool Show's massive weekend. And to bookmark their favourite things and to, to put a heart on their favourite Etsy stores. Um, I forget the company, but there's a daily journal thing. And I think each page is one date, but over three years. So you write down every day the next thing. Oh, that's really clever, John. I like that. That I like that idea. That's that's actually a really cool idea as well. It helps you to understand where you're at differently 12 months on, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, I like that idea. That's a cool idea too. Um, I'm pretty pretty rough with the old note taking my handwriting's not awesome um and so yeah john's gonna track it down awesome john that would be fantabulous if you can send me a link that'd be great um one two three so yeah oh wait 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 hang on one two one two one two three Oh, yeah, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Um, my health of late has taught me not to make plans, just to let things go. Yeah. And that's something as well. We all have to decide, what, like, understand our limitations. So, yeah. And that's an important thing. Understand your limitations. There was, uh, I was reading something that we, 
overestimate how much we can do in a day but underestimate how much we can do in a year so yeah i'm trying to be better i'm trying to plan better i'm terrible at it <laughs> i'm terrible at planning but i'm trying so you know i'm consciously thinking about it so that's something right <laughs> that's a step up Oh dear. I see these people who have like got their content planned out for like 12 months and you're just like, really? Because it's Wednesday and I don't know what I'm live streaming about tomorrow. <laughs> so now I knew what I was going to be talking about last night. I knew it was we were focusing on the Big Wool Show. Um, Leanne says, I do that for crafting. I make an album on my phone each year just so I can see the projects I've made as I gift out just about everything I create. And that, that's the same for me is a lot of my projects aren't here. I make it and it moves on. And sometimes I remember to take photos and sometimes I forget. Um, and so sometimes that's it. It's gone now, bye-bye, and I forget about it. And then you realise, no, I spent six months working on that thing, you know. This blanket's not going anywhere. This blanket's mine. <laughs> After all this, this, the you know effort, this blanket shall be mine. So, I think I would have to love somebody very much to give them one of these blankets. I'll see how I go with the border. If I if I hate the if I hate working on the border, it's definitely a me thing. If I enjoy working on the border and I want to make more then it might be a sherry thing. Mm. I've got my cough, my tea, my tea, it's not coffee. I've got my tea in my little donut hot pad thing. And even the last sip was still hot. Yay! Gotta love it. I have no idea where my friend got it from, but I love it a lot. I think it's great. It doesn't, I was going to say it doesn't keep everything hot, but it definitely kept that one hot. So um, I photograph everything I crochet, then I give it away. That's my goal. And I just, I sometimes I just miss things. Like I'm I'm rushing to get it finished in like a time frame. And then it's like, oh, quick, get it done. Right, it's delivered. Fantastic. And then you're like, oh, man, I forgot to get a photo. I mean, I've always got progress shots, so there's always something but sometimes it's not always the completed beautiful shot so yes so those of you that are planning on big wool show have you already started looking through like the stall like the stall hold names and things like that working out what you want to buy or is it going to be like um a a thing on the weekend where it's just like no i've changed my mind i'm going to get this other thing or like do, yeah oh the other thing to remember is that I think some of the stall holders, and me included, um, will have a free post option, <clears throat> excuse me, that's only available for that weekend through the stall. Uh, that's something I wanted to talk about. So I'm actually going to go back to this camera, the serious first camera. Um, the For the Big Wool Show, the Fiberific stall, once it's all set up, which it's not yet, <laughs> um, it's going to have like a little blurb on there. Um, so basically we're going to be having um, the free post coupon as a special for the Big Wool Show, which the coupon code will be listed there so you can copy it and use it. Um, but the other thing is Chow Goo have increased their prices. So their wholesale prices are going up by 10% in US dollars, which means I'm going to have to put my prices up. So um, now... Technically, this has happened as of the 1st of September, but I'm holding off increasing my out-of-stock items until um, after the Big Wool Show. So I'm holding firm my out-of-stock prices. So I know full well that my sets of hooks and sets of needles and things like that, they are going to go up easily by 10 to 12% Australian dollars um, as of Tuesday. So, and they should have gone up last week, but I'm holding it off. Um, anything else that's not out of stock yet, it's still at its old pricing. I'm not changing this, those prices until I reorder and then I have to increase their prices. Um, I can't wear a 10% US dollar increase. So um, 
and they are going to go up across the board. So if you get in this weekend, you will get the current pricing. You will not be getting the horrible future pricing. So you'll save yourself 10 to 12% as well as get a free post option. And I'm putting a chow goo order in on Tuesday. So once I compile the orders and and settle it all down, I'll get that order in straight away. So I'll have the order by the following week so that um, everything will be can start shipping out. So um, it will be, I don't have like a show special as such. I've got a free post coupon code and that's across the board. There's no minimum order for that. Um, so, but if something can fit, like if there's like someone bought a couple of badges, I'll pop those into a, a surface mail envelope. But if someone's bought something valued at over you know a certain amount which i haven't 100 percent decided on yet because it will also depend on the size they will go into tracked parcels so i prefer track parcels personally i definitely prefer track parcels so um yeah so that's that's what we're doing that's what fiber is doing but we're going to be having all our little totes so if you want to see the totes again that i showed at the start of the stream i can bring those back over and all the little badges have got to go up. Um, some of those things will probably stay after as um, not so much permanent, but until I run out of whatever I've got here. Because I've over the years I've bought a lot of merchy things and never had time to actually merch them up. So, like, I've got hundreds of those little tiny badges. Um, so I can make tons more badges. But I've only got 50 of the yellow totes. And so once they run out, they're gone. So I probably, I mean, I may order them in again. I don't know, maybe. Um, not this week. <laughs> not anytime too soon. But, yeah, so we've, let me know if you guys want to see those again. So I'm just having a quick lead, read in here. Um, I am, Melissa has said, oh, my God, I have a massive list. <laughs> And Leanne says, I've looked at so many stall holders that I've not seen before and I love watching the videos as they put up their YouTube channel. Yes, because a lot of the stall holders have put introduction videos up so you can go and check it out and see what they, they're like as well. Um, Melissa says, I just don't know how I'm going to cut down my list. I'm going to make a better list today and tomorrow for what I really want. That's that's a good idea. That's that's a good idea. Um Two Active Wolf says, I can't put in anything. I ordered an order on Spotlight and my card got declined because my purchase was outside my normal purchase. Oh, mm, it's annoying. I hate it when there's bank stuff ups on my cards. Ugh. Um, Melissa wants to see the totes. Okay. I can do that. Easy, easy. I'm trying to pull them away. All righty. Um, are we going to, we should try this camera again. Let's see if we break it again. Bam. Yep. Broken. <laughs> it's because of the yellow. It's totally because of the yellow. Let's, let's, let's not push our luck. Okay. So we've got this one here. I like to party. And by party, I mean crochet. And then on the back, we've got our little ninja. Wood, wood. And then, this one has a ninja. They've all got the ninja on the back. And then this one says, sorry, busy crafting today. And they'll be $10 each over on the website. So limited numbers. But I also have more bags and I have more vinyl. So I will put in, uh, I'll work out how many back orders I can do. And if, if they're popular, I, I can always make more later and, and get them done during the week. Yes, but I'm going to be making a few more. Um, and I'm tossing up whether or not to do a third a third design. I've got another design that I like the look of, but I'm not 100% certain if I want to have that many. What do you guys think? A third option or is two enough? Um, as I surely need nothing, perhaps a small purchase shall be had. And that's the thing for me. I don't need anything, but I may want a few things. So, yeah. Um, Lisby's trying to be good, especially after the advent calendar purchase this month. You guys, oh, I don't know if I can say anything here. Because of the interview I had with Wendy last night. Go and watch. It's not uploaded yet because it's still here. After the live stream, I'm going to upload the Wendy Beer interview. Go and watch the Wendy Beer interview. She makes an announcement in there. 
Um, Sally says, I'm not buying because I have no money. I know those feels, Sal. I know those feels. Um, oh, so I'm waiting until the weekend because then it's involved. Oh, my God, the logic. The logic. Uh, what's the third one say? Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll show you later. I'll, I, I haven't. I'm still torn. There's a couple. So I just don't know if I want to do a third, if that makes sense. Um, Lisby's being good on Freaky's behalf. Yes. Okay, let's see. Is it still? No, it's still angry. I just, oh, take your hand away. I don't know why it's working. It's working though. Woohoo. <laughs> I'll just be excited. Like, small things, small things. You know, it's kind of like it's reminding me of the problems that we had with the Logitech Brio, right? You remember back in the die stream days when that, that webcam started going and it was just like being a poopy pants and then all of a sudden stopped and then we bought, no, it was the C920 and this is the Brio. And then we bought the new one um, to try and, you know, make up for all the doo-dooness that this one has. Well... I don't know why, but that's the one that we use over there now, and it works fine. So it just needed a holiday. It needed a break. It got put in a box for a little while. But I don't want to put this one in a box for a while. I don't have a spare option that I could use that's as good because it, it is good. It's a good camera when it's being good. That's what's frustrating. That's why I know it's me. I know there's something I've done to upset it. So I want to check its cords. I want to check its firmware updates and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely sure that it's not the camera and that it's me. So, because su it is such a good camera. It does pick up colour really well, which is what we loved about it. But I'm doing something. I have a setting set somewhere that it's a bit like, I don't like you anymore. So, yeah, we just have to, you know, deep breath and go for it that's right freaky it really did not like black where, there it is there it did not like black at all it really hated it um i have a secret teapot addiction it's actually a thermos i use as a teapot oh my goodness oh, i love my t2 t thermos i really do i've been using it now for like it's got to be at least four years. Maybe it's no, it's got to be older than that. Maybe five. It's getting on. So it's getting there. It's getting there in age. We'll see. We will see. Um, so the camera was too close and that's why it flipped out. I don't know because it flipped out when I brought the yellow bags in, but, I mean, they're very yellow. So it could be the yellow that's flipping it to make it because it's bringing all the blue in, so it's trying to cool down the brightness. So I don't know. But then before, when I put my hand back into it, it stopped the blueness and became normal. I don't know. But the other thing is I've also noticed it really doesn't like my blue nails. So I will I, when I get my nails done again, I will not get blue and I'll see if we can fix it because I think I'm just confusing it. Like we, it's got a lot of colour under here, honestly, and a lot of it's very bright, very bright colour. And I don't understand webcams very well. So, I mean, I, I know how to use them, but I don't understand what makes them angry. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But we will see. And you know what? there's a really good chance that it needs a firmware update because I've never done one and we've had this camera now for easily three years. So, you know, it's there's probably a very good chance that it needs a little firmware update. It could be a dodgy cord. Cords are the first thing to go. You know, like so many, so many options before it needs to go, you know, in the trash. Um, oh, 
Oh, okay. I'm just looking at all the tea conversation here. This thermos only holds 500 mils, so like two cups. So it's not like a proper thermos thermos. It's just a little portable tea thermos that I can actually drink out of it as well. Like it's got like a drinking lip on it. So Freaky says I drink lots of tea. Fair enough. And where you are, especially in winter, it gets really cold. So you need to keep your tea hot too. Oh, dear. We're nearly at the end of the row, you guys. I was just looking at before. Got that much to go. And we're at the... Oh. Doesn't like coming close, but if I put it away and my hand comes in, I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know the answer to the question. I don't even know. I'm just, I'm just going to crochet. I'm just going to sit here and crochet and not ask any questions um, of the camera, of the camera. I am, however, going to ask questions of you in the chat. So what are your plans for the weekend? Have you got any crafty plans that I can live vicariously through while I live stream all weekend? What projects are you planning on working on? I'm now distracted and looking at Lego Friends for my niece. Lego Friends can be very distracting. Abby went through a huge Lego Friends phase and we bought, at the time, pretty well all the sets that are available, um, which sounds a lot, but there was like five sets available um, and we bought them over like two years. Um, so birthdays and Christmas and Easter, she loved it. And now we have some big crates of Lego. Um, yeah. Oh, wow, it's a long weekend for John. So no work Friday. Yeah, Abby's got a long weekend. She's got no school on Friday. So, yeah. I'm a bit jealous, truth be told. <laughs> Hard like a long weekend. Um, but I'm also really looking forward to these lives. They're going to be so fun because I love doing lives and I have someone to talk to the whole time. So I don't have to just sort of talk to myself, which is also really nice. Um, it makes it a bit different. Uh, am I doing the right thing? Yes, I am. Um, Sally's hub, hubby will be home from surgery, hopefully. So looking after hubby, crocheting the jumper, watching the wool show, and having a combined birthdays, Father's Day dinner on Sunday night. Because that's the thing, like, big wool show is on Father's Day Sunday as well. So, whoops. Um, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be okay. It'll be all fine. Um, Leanne says, I'm watching you. I'm hoping to craft some tomorrow. Sunday's Father's Day in the park. Then the Arvo. More viewing. Pretty perfect, right? Yeah. Nat says, so Tim won't have much of a Father's Day. He won't be here for most of it. Tim has his own plans every Sunday. Um, and so he'll be gone from about 10 till about 1 anyway. And then... Um, so we're going to do some Father's Day stuff in the morning and then he'll go out and I'll come out here and then um, he'll be home in the afternoon and I'll still be streaming. We'll have dinner because it finishes by four. So we'll still have plenty of Father's Day time. Um, you plan to finish your queen? Your border's nearly done. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Gail Smith might be off to Pony Club awesome as well you guys have got so, so many varied things that are happening um lots of recovering working on your cosmic cow maybe i might finish it one day <laughs> oops my nose is doing the thing sorry guys it's Oh, are we back? I don't know what happened there. I just all of a sudden got a whirly on the other screen, which I don't normally get a whirly. So I'm not quite sure, but I think we might be back, maybe. 
because it was frozen, but we'll see. I've got a screen here now, which I didn't have before. It went black. Um, so, uh, Sally's asking if I froze. I did freeze. Um, you guys are oh, good. Good, good, good. Everything's back. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened there. That was bizarre. We've got some weird weather outside as well. Um, <laughs> I blew the nose and shocked the life. Could be. Could be exactly what happened. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's dropped down to 144. Let me see if I can run a quick speed test here. No, I can't. I don't have the window and I don't want to mess around too much. So, yeah, I've noticed that it has um, dropped down on my end as well. So maybe see if you can change it up from 144. It should still be streaming in full HD. Um, John's got lots of pens to sell. Yes. Um, so let's see if I can... Um, go back down to here there we go oops go up and get rid of that one and back we go it's all clear again excellent you know what guys this is just the nature of live streaming so you know we're very lucky that we get like a good solid two hours um it doesn't always work the best but we've got each other we've still got the chat chat still works usually um i'm not quite sure what happened there i totally lost signal for a second which is one of the amazing things about this software that i use if if this had have happened on um the old software then the stream would be gone and we would have to boot in with a new stream and we'd all have to share out a new code and be all like oh she's moved over to here now it's set up started a separate stream so with this software at least it keeps it all together so yay i mean it's something right <laughs> I personally think that's a really great advantage. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm a nerd. So, you know, what can I say? What can I say? Um, John loves his fountain pens. Absolutely. Oh, Freaky's still working on his little man. To cure so he's got his little mold kit um it's taking because of the humidity it's making you wait longer but i'll post a pic when you've got better lighting awesome can't wait can't wait whoops i need a doobie thing there pop your doobie in chantelle there we go we've got this we've totally got it i'm looking at the time and i'm like we're so close to the end I'm not ending this stream until I finish this row, okay? Because <laughs> I'm so close to the end of a row. And you guys know how nice it is to finish a row. Um, chatting about fountain pens. I've actually never used one. I don't know if I can write with one or not. Um, yeah. I'm sure there'd be some skills involved. And my handwriting is not great at the best of times. I think I only really deserve a biro. <laughs> um, Sally is off. See you later, Sally. I'm so glad that you could make it and good luck today. It's a big day for you guys. So, yeah. We've got a massive weekend coming up. So if you've got time, um, it's Saturday, Sunday, Australian, so... Friday, Saturday, US, um, and other time zones, then jump in, you, you know, come in and say hi, let me know you're there. And um, and you might, you know, you may win something or you might learn something or just meet some other yarn crafting people, people who love yarn crafting as much as we do. So it'll be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, they're better for your hands. Oh, sorry. They're better for your hands because a proper fountain pen writes under its own weight. They're also reusable, so they're green. Yeah, because you fill it up. I like that idea, actually, that it, it you just because you're just moving the pen, you're not pushing down on the pen. Okay. I like that idea. I didn't realise that. I learned a thing. Thank you, John. Um yeah, Sally's 
Okay, cool. So, oh, Gail says people can understand my handwriting when I use fountain pens. So, when you use a fountain pen, do you have to like let the ink set or anything like that before, you know, moving on to the next row or anything? Oh, hello, I'm at the end. Um, Lisby says, I do love a good fountain pen. Haven't had one in years. Oh, it's very windy. It's very windy. Oh, it depends on the ink or the paper that you use. Okay, that makes sense. It does make sense. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we are at the very end of the row, you guys. Modern ink dries fast, but you can smudge it if it's wet. Okay, well, I'm not a lefty, so that's helpful too. Well, I don't usually write with my left hand. I can. Um, look at that. How is, like, what are the chances of us actually getting two, well, one and a half rows finished? Like, I love this yellow and the purple together. I know it looks nearly black, but it's definitely purple. See, so look, it's purple. So, yeah, but it looks awesome. Okay. Well, everybody, we've ended at the end of a row. It's midday here, and I need to get off and do, like, a million of these jobs that I want to get done in time for the weekend. It's going to be exciting and fun, and I hope you can join over on the Big Wool Show YouTube channel. And if you do jump into the chat, please say hi. It'll be good to see a familiar face. I will see all of you next week here for the live stream and uh, we'll do a bit of a recap and, you know, there may be havoc. Who knows? It's live streaming. Havoc happens. And uh, I need that on a shirt. Havoc happens. <laughs> but I will catch you all later and I hope you have fantastic weekends and uh, be good or, you know, good at it. So I will see you next time. Bye.